Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII! Last time... Last time we tracked down Tifa to Wall Street! And this time, we're gonna do something about it. <laughs> is this the right shot? I don't even remember. This is not the right one. Uh... How about this? There we go. <laughs> I see. That seems to be the case. <laughs> yep, let's go, Cloud. We gotta get that dress for ya. To be honest, I'm probably taking too much pleasure in this, but... You know, whatever. Uh, are you the person? He's always said that just once he'd like to dress up as a girl. So that's why I wanted a cute dress for him. Hmm. Yeah, will you do it? Might be interesting. I was getting a little bored making just regular clothes. Can you do it for us? Yeah, alright. What kind of dress do you want? Something that is soft. And that shimmers. Hmm, got it. You know, I got a friend that has the same taste as him. I'll go talk to him. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, I should mention at this point now, that what we're doing here can does have an impact later on. Um, I am going to try my best to dress Cloud up in all of the best gear possible. Uh, yeah. And this will have a particular effect later on that I'll note when it happens. Until then, however, like, I don't really want to say it because like, it's not a huge spoiler, but I think it's big enough. Like, it has a fairly large impact. Just, I'm getting the best stuff for Cloud, and depending on what you want to happen, you might not care about what he's wearing, or you might care a lot. Um, and the things I'm getting will result in one of three possible uh, conclusions. <laughs> okay then. Oh? A lot of people like me? What indeed? <laughs> Okay, now that that's over, over with, I actually want to go save quickly, because most of the stuff I'm going to pick up is simply about getting the right item. We'll be playing a bit of a fetch quest here. However, this one is something, this is actually, I mean, I wouldn't really say it takes that much skill, but, okay, look, you'll see. Uh... Hmm. Right then. Well, basically, they're going to challenge us to a squat contest, and we need a win for the best result. Hence my saving. This isn't really that hard, but... 
but it's... I mean, it's, let's put it this way. It's not that hard to lose it on the first time, either. Because it can take a few seconds to get the hang of it. Especially with this bullshit button situation going on. Uh... No, I don't want you to explain a game. I want... I want a tutorial. I want... I want to be able to practice, you know? Yes, I need to practice. Okay. Well, that's a little bit iffy because of my butt... because my buttons are a little bit sticky, but... Yeah, that happens if you do things in the wrong order. But I seem to have things... Okay, yeah. I've confirmed I seem to have the buttons in the correct order. So I know which buttons I'm pressing, that's good. That is not really a very good number. Okay, you see, I did not take into account my controller problems. My controller is not really set up for quick input. That's basically the penalty I'm play I'm paying for good in for otherwise good input. Uh did I win? I won. Okay. Okay, I could have sworn those numbers should have gotten way higher, though. I don't know. <laughs> Kicked his ass. That is actually sort of hilarious. Okay, now, if you want to, we actually have all we need to grab our dress and walk up into, into there. But as I said earlier, I want to get everything. So we're gonna do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Medicine! The medicine is next on the list. Actually, no it isn't. Uh, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna go save again, because I don't actually know for sure if I have enough money for this. And then I'm going to walk into here. This asshole's shop is closed, but... Yeah. Sorry, lady. Here's the thing. You know those vending machines in the end? I mentioned you know what they sell in it. I just can't ask a girl to go... Do it! What? Why did I buy it myself? Well, to tell you the truth, I got in a fight with the guy at the end and he can't go there anymore, but come on, how about it? Yeah, alright. To the end! Yeah, sure. Sounds like a plan. Just the two of us. Buy the most expensive one! It's important, you see, because the be the more money you spend on the stupid vending machine, the better item you'll get. Specifically, once we run this up to this asshole, We will get... You just take your... <laughs> he will give us... The Diamond Tiara! Which, I think the worst one is glass, and I don't know what material the middle one is made out of but presumably some sort of gemstone less precious than diamond. 
as if there even is such a thing. I guess art, well, glass isn't a real gemstone. Um, next stop is in here. No, it is not, actually. The next stop is in here. Okay, no, let me sit. Sit down. Whatever is cheapest. Uh. Oh man, I can actually go for some Korean barbecue right now. No, today's special, I guess. Okay, 70 gil, that's fine. I don't know which one of these is the cheapest, but the special is usually pretty cheap, so yeah. It doesn't matter which one of these you get. What is important is that you tell him you like his food. Then he gives you a coupon for the pharmacy. With coupon in hand, we can take it down to the pharmacy. And we can exchange it for one of these three things. Deodorant, disinfectant, or digestive. But we know a guy who needs some di some digestive medicine. The digestive is the best one. Uh, so we run this back up here and give it to this person. Give her the medicine. And she gives us sexy cologne. I'm pretty sure if she gives us the deodorant, I'm pretty sure she literally just get, gives us our own deodorant back. Um, yeah. Okay, I don't need to watch her walk all the way out. Okay then. Uh, right. Now this only leaves one destination. Remaining. Save my game again, I guess. I mean, I don't really need to save for this one, but... But I am. And then, if we walk down, there should be right here. Nope, I just can't make up my mind. Here, you take this. I won't be able to get in without it. We are going to go into the Honeybee Inn. And leave Aerith outside to be m basically mauled by all of these men. <laughs> and she and Aerith is all, yeah, I'm sure that's your excuse. Straight into the dressing room. Yeah, probs shouldn't be in their cloud. Uh, can I? No. Oh, these rooms all have text on the floor, which I totally can't read. I am garbage at here. At it's not here again. I'm garbage at kanji. Uh, they do say distinct things though. I wonder if those actually help identify the rooms. Anyway, uh. So, our two choices are between these two rooms. Now, we get some- we- it doesn't- we get something from either room. It doesn't- at this point, it doesn't matter which one we get. Our outfit is good enough either way at this point. Having said that, one of these is hilarious, and the other one is sort of traumatic. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the... I don't want to. I don't want to say the name of this this room. <laughs> um, I feel an aversion to doing so. Irrational though it is.
what the hell is that? Okay, yeah, that, that hurts my ears a bit. Uh... Cloud seems to be having some sort of mental episode. Also, I think he just got mind raped by his own ghost. Yeah, so, what the hell was that all about? I just don't even know. The other room is way more hilarious than this. I highly advise you trying it out yourself. Like, seriously. Oh? I think we're getting a full contact massage. Which is a little odd since we, were so we sort of passed out after a mental episode. Probably smashed our head, head on the floor. Oh. Okay, no, now we're just being slapped. Okay, our head just went right through his crotch. Um... Oi. Well, you know what the room is called. Oh, I... This place is just... Right, okay, so... Now, I'm pretty sure at this point, one of these people should give me a thing. There we go! Have them do my makeup for me. I don't see it. Whatever. Also, I thought they actually gave me something for going through that sequence, but I seem to have not received anything. Hmm. Maybe I just missed it. No, they totally didn't give me anything. Well, it doesn't really matter anyway. I did get my makeup done, at least. Can I... No. No, I cannot. But I can, should be able to... Oh, come on! I know I can do this! There we go. What the hell was that? Like a thunderbolt or something? Okay, I'm in the, like, the far... Who the hell is that? Hmm. Oh, that's another person. He's staring right at me. Whoa! It's the curse of the Resurrection Satan. Our beloved Queen does not waken. Are they, like, rehearsing? Wait. He's in a suit. I think he's, like, watching TV. Which makes it a little odd that there's this in the background, but, you know, whatever. Uh... What? Oh? Every time we come to Midgar in business... Holding... Hmm... So, there's like four of them in this room. Wait, what? The guy in the crown is President Shinra! Ah, oh, man! <laughs> Where did he go? 
Okay then. That guy. Wow. Just wow. That sounds like snoring. Cloud the Voyeur. You can call me Voyeur Cloud. Okay, uh... That appears to be an old couple. What's wrong, Grandma? You keep sighing. Oh no. Ooh! This little Kate sit there. Their, their son rented for them? Big round bed, gorgeous tub, I can't... It is not a high-class neighborhood, it's in the slums, and it's a totally a love hotel. And he rented it. Oh, that's, that's kind of... I feel bad both for the, them and their son. Right, well, we're done here. For the flower and one gill? Wait, Aerith gave you one gill? <laughs> wow, that's actually quite steep. Her flowers cost 300 gill, too. <laughs> oh, the Brett, she charges different people different amounts for her flowers depending on how much she likes them. That's great! She actually gave him one gill. Wow, she is actually a really good businesswoman. No, I'm not going in. I'm not I'm not going back in. I just want to talk to them. Right. Anyway. We should be good. So hmm. I think I'll keep going. Like, I have a, I have in my mind a place where I want to stop this time, so... And I don't pl really want to be too picky about longer episodes of this. This is quite a long game, so... Yeah, I'm ready. Hmm... Interesting. <laughs> hmm. Okay then. Look straight at Cloud for that. I don't know. I mean, I think if we had a better re a better polygon count, that red dress would actually look pretty good on Aerith. <laughs> Okie dokie then. The pigtails are just a little too much for me. Just... I mean, it's literally just Cloud's hair. Only his pointiness is a little bit more forward, and he has pigtails! Plus also, I gotta be, to be perfectly honest, I don't really buy that Cloud could pass. Um... As a... 
But yeah, as a very unemotional, brooding male, I don't. I find it hard to buy that Cloud could actually, uh, could actually pass like this. It's just, yeah. Anyway. Hmm. Oh, and now he's too embarrassed. Okay, I gotta say, I feel like Aerith, out of everyone in the room right now, Aerith is by far the most honest about her own feelings. <laughs> well, I mean, this would help if he didn't stand, if they altered his model slightly so he didn't stand with his feet apart. There at least wouldn't be a gap in his huge gap in his skirt that way. I mean, what they should have done is they should have used Aerith's mo uh, m mesh. Yeah, that's it. They should have used Aerith's, Aerith's mesh for Cloud when he was in drag. It's what they should have done. No, I'm not even going to go there, actually. Yeah, Tiffa, explain! Jeez, Clyde, you're so needy! So, naturally, he keeps his, his potential bride in a freaking torture chamber. Because, seriously, look at this. There's no way this room could be anything but a dungeon. And it does not... And maybe it's just me, but I don't think it's a sex dungeon. There are a lot of legitimate torture shit in this room. Makes a good point. Uh, you have what? You have talked yourself into a corner, Cloud. You misogynistic ass. Anyway. Can I, can I just pick up that item in the corner first, please? Because I'm not going to have a chance to come back for it. Of course it is, Cloud. <laughs> Got it. Isn't he there? Yay. What? Uh, I don't even want to think about that. Actually, I really do want to think about that. I think it would be hilarious. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So, basically, here's how this works. All that work we did to get extra stuff, it was so the Dawn would pick Cloud instead of Tifa and Aerith. By default, I want to say he usually picks Tifa. If you, ha if you have just the right combination of things, he'll pick Aerith. And if you have all the best things, he'll pick Cloud. As is the case here. Actually, strictly speaking, there's one more thing I could have gotten that I did not. I could have gotten some lingerie, but you, I've, I have uh, accumulated enough good points from my other choices that I don't actually need it. Ooh. 
line up. Having said that, I sort of just spoiled who he's going to pick, but, well... <laughs> the other two look straight at him, but Cloud does that every time. Woohoo! I've made up my mind! My choice for tonight is... Drum roll! Healthy looking girl! Whoa, whoa, wait a sec! I, I mean, pl pl please wait a moment! Woohoo! I love chickies who play hard to get! Yowza! Yep! <laughs> oh, it's just so great, it's so awkward. But it's only funny because Cloud is a cisgendered male forced across, who has been basically forced across the rest, uh, by circumstance. Actually, no. Now that I've said that out loud, that's not nearly so funny. Hmm. I feel conflicted. I still feel- I still think this is funny, but the circumstances which make it so, I find highly conflicting. <laughs> Ah. Uh, um. <laughs> you know, he's one of the ones you were trying to find out about. You know, Avalanche? Oh, yeah, had in Sector 7 in the slums. And how do you know that? Ah oh, man, I should have flirted with him. That would might have been funnier. What indeed? What did your assistant find out? Talk! If you don't tell us! I'll chop him off. No, no! Anything but that! Oh, you'd be killed. On the on the other hand, I'll rip him off. He Hidgar of he Degger. How the hell do you pronounce that? I don't even know. He he's the basically the military head. Or at least he would be if she wasn't run by a bunch of incompetent assholes. I guess you could say he's the head of the security force? That seems more accurate. I gotta be honest, I feel that they ended on a weak note here. Cloud and... Cloud and Aerith's threats were more th were probably more threatening. Hmm. Oh. What? But wouldn't that kill, like, literally thousands of people? Like, we're talking... What What was the figure I gave before? An eighth of the population of Midgar? I mean, Midgar is literally the most densely populated city on in the world, and you're gonna kill a quarter of the people... Sorry. A eighth of the people living it. That is just. I mean, yeah, it'll wipe out the slums and also everyone living on the Sector 7 plate. Once again, accounting for an eighth of Midgar's population. That is, like, hard to wrap your mind around evil. That's like napalming your own city, evil. Like, no stable government could ever do that. J 
just trying to do it would render them unstable. Okay, what are you saying? Uh... Well, you are totally clueless, but you certainly are think you're sure you'll win. And then the trap door happened. Join me next time for more Final Fantasy VII! Bye! Actually, on a second thought, we'll watch this scene first. But we're gone right after it's over. Spooky. It doesn't look like Shinra headquarters. Yeah, 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 yeah. Smoothly, very smoothly. I signed the Turks to this task. And the Presidente, are you really going to do this? Simply destroy a group with only a few members. Like eight, like how many members? Five or six people? Of course he wants out. He... I mean... Yeah. This isn't a personal problem. I mean, it's not... I mean, it's also a personal problem, but it's also literally his job. I mean, he doesn't really have any real power. Now that note, we will be leaving off. Join me next time when we find out what happened to Cloud and the Black Gang when they fell for the Dawn's obvious trap. Until next time, this has been Chaos Blue with Let's Play Final Fantasy VII, and have a good day. Bye!